1869, the blacks said, well, I think we are now, uh, our population has increased. Let us go and wrestle power from the mulattoes. And we organized their, their party, the Druid Party, in Clay Ashland in 1860. 1869, they put E.J. Roy forward. Uh, Roy was a dark skin, he was dark skin, American Liberian. Won the election. Won the election. Won the Won an incumbent. Won an incumbent. So, as time went on in the, in the year 1870, at least, let's go back. In 1869, an amendment was placed on the ballot to be approved by the people that the term of the president should be extended from two to four years. According to Roy and his partisans, the amendment was adopted. According to the opposition, dominated by the settlers, by the Latin settlers, amendment was not carried. Therefore, Roy was going to be there until on the, 18, the end of 1871. Well, there was a battle of words. The mulattoes who dominated the legislature went ahead anyway and, and held the election in, 19, in 1871. Roy didn't take part in that election, or at least the true party didn't take part. Right after the election, which was contested only by Joseph Jenkins Rowers, Right after the election, Roberts went to America. He stayed there until October. In those days, elections were held in May and they rested for so long until January the following year before uh, the have inauguration. The very day Joseph Jenkins Roberts entered Monrovia, that very day, shells, big shells, were fired into the State House where we are sitting today. And Roy was manhandled and taken to prison. In prison, his wife helped him to escape. And he was waiting to give us find his way to the British ship. He hired a crew boy in Kino take him to the ship. And as he was nearing the ship, he was sighted. And government forces fired into the air and the crew board escaped. Roy was unable to swim. He didn't get drowned. He just remained in there. Perhaps he was trying to swim. He didn't swim. He didn't get drowned. He remained there. Roy was apprehended. Brought to the police station where you have the EJ Roy building today. The Roy, in fact, from the beach, he was severely beaten straight onto prison. Roy remained in prison until February of the following year, after JJ Roberts' inauguration when Roy died. So this is one version of the story to which I subscribe. So that black interregnum was very short. A few years later, the blacks bounced back in 1884. And since then, they ruled the Republic up to 1980. The question now for us is, what was the response to black marginalization in the royal affair? What was the response? The response from the black community was not a violent response for one or two reasons. One, they didn't control uh, the instruments of violence. The mulattoes controlled that. But more importantly, they could not have responded violently because it was not in their interest to do so. Here were a handful of people surrounded by African kingdoms that were hostile to them. So if they saw them in confusion, they would just want to just clear them out. Take their logical, take it to a logical conclusion what they started in 1822. In Liberia, we say it was John's palm oil wasting on John's rice. 
whether you were a black American like you, whether you were a mulatto like you, you believed on your mission. You want a mission here in Africa, a messianic or redemptive mission. You could not fight among yourselves. So this was one reason why the response from the black community was not balanced. 